Do you know when you nap so hard? Like, you cannot wake up. That's me right now. I handed in all of my essays yesterday. Second year of uni done. Um, however, I wasn't really anticipating the sense of what the fuck that would come from it, like, afterwards. First year, it was kind of like, oh yeah, what the fuck, and then stuff just carried on. <gasps> For the past 24 hours. But it's just me and my housemate does the same course with me and we just have not moved out of bed and when we do it's just like for an hour and then we're back um i haven't put on makeup just for this i got bored earlier so i put makeup on it's only day one and i'm at that stage of boredness boredom that's the word yeah how are you it is so hot in cardiff right now like my windows are like wide open and they are looking cool. They're looking really cool on your you know. Like, my room. It's got, yeah, I know it's messy. But look, you've got my. Look at my cute as fuck, like. Prayer flags. Which are looking really cool. Yeah, I'm still in bed. Screw you. Um, but yeah, that is life right now. There is something I need to discuss. Um, I'm gonna go into it. Somehow, someone took, well, I ran out of my cleaning stuff. You know the stuff you put in the washing machine with the clothes to clean it? That, I ran out of it. So my parents always used to use like Ecova kind of washing up stuff when I was at home. It had like, no smell at all, nothing. Really, really cool, organic and everything, but obviously I can't afford it. So I went to Savers, because I'm a cheap piece of shit, and I bought this. It's the first bold I have ever bought. Other washing up, whatever the hell you put it, call it, are available. And probably a lot better. But I bought them, and I want you guys to appreciate something. So they're the capsules, yeah? <laughs> itchy. Oh, everything's itchy. They smell so fucking good. But they also, like, they smell a lot. I don't know if like those ones. I'm trying to find the camera. There you go. But I'd like you guys to appreciate something. Right. I'll sit up a bit so I can show you this. They have taken the time to print the like instructions on it. Bold two and one. And it tells you how to do it. There's a helpline on the tablet. Who has time for that shit? Like I'm thinking I'm gonna break this right now. Because it's so fucking thin. But look, it's like fucking help my number. On it! As if I'm gonna lose the box and just have one of these lying around in its fragile fucking pouchy state. I don't even know what the fuck that is. Like some kind of dishwasher yin yin and yang shit. And it's got a fucking help my number on the back of it. It's must fucking I need to do a wash. I've run out of clothes. I'm wearing my boyfriend's boxes. It's rough. Today is a weird day. But yeah. Thought I'd update you on that, it's more fucking good. But yeah, um, apart from that, not really that much interesting is happening. Well, actually, something did cool did weird happen. Cool did weird happen? It's gonna be my new slogan. Um, earlier today, I... My, like, my haircut is generally just like, you know, I've got a straight box cut fringe, which is done badly because I've been doing it, and my hair goes down, like, well, there, kind of length. Um, with my blue tips in it. And I haven't cut my hair in about a year and a half. Which is a long time. And luckily I'm only just dying to get like split ends and stuff. So my hair's done really, really well. And I went to... You know, I was bored today, like I'm saying. So I thought, okay, I'm going to go and get my hair cut. Get it done. I want it to look like this. Insert picture here, I'm married, if you can. If not, then that's just a bit of my radiator you're going to see. And so I want like kind of like an across fringe and just shit tons of layers. Because my hair isn't actually quite straight. And it doesn't hold curls at all. And I try to give it like volume. And I just want layers on volume. That's all I want. It's not that hard. And I went to a hairdresser's just literally just down the road from me. 
to, you know, 20% off for students, I'm a student, it's calling to me practically. And I went in there and the treatment was really weird. Um, I went in there and this woman came up to me who worked there and she said, what are you looking to have done? I'll show her this picture, which hopefully I've been able to show you. And my husband's just messaged me. And um, she said, okay, I'm just going to go get someone who'll come speak to you. Do you want to sit down? And I'm like, what kind of fucking military operation is this? Like, I just want some layers, please. And obviously I understand if you can't give me a fringe or you don't have, if you can't work a fr that kind of fringe in at the moment, because I still do have like a rough, well, it's long because I'm already growing it out, but I already do have a bit of a rough fringe. So I can understand them saying no to that. And just saying the layers. But I come in and I get sat down into the seat. And I'm like, fuck, he's on it. Okay, I'm going to get my hair cut. This is awesome. I'm sitting there. And he's like, okay, so what do you want? And um, I show him this picture. And I say, I know I've already got a bit of a fringe at the moment. And I know it'll mean taking it. Like, my fringe is quite, sup it's not superficial. But if you get what I mean, it's quite superficial. Because it's not very thick. Like, it's quite thin at the front. So it's kind of superficial. My mouth tastes with chemicals and I think I got bold turn one in it. Ew. Anyway, um so I was saying to that I said I really want layers and stuff. Like I understand it'll mean losing, you know, a tiny bit of length. It'll mean getting rid of a bit of the blue and stuff. I can always dye more blue into my hair. That's cool. I can do that. I'm down for that. And he was just like, What with your fringe and stuff like that, I would have to take it too far back. He's talking about like halfway through my head and moving over my fringe a bit, and I'm like, that's cool. I want that. That's literally what I'm asking you for. And he said, you know, and with the length of your hair, like, I, you know, you're just going to lose a lot of the length through the layers. And I'm like, I, I want it to keep it long. I don't mind it going thinner at the bottom. Like, I quite like the idea of the sceney, like, big hair on top and then kind of going down a bit. I get that's going to happen. I'm not dense. And he was just like, yeah, so you may as well come back in about three or four months. Three to four months. For my fringe to grow out. And my hair to get longer. He was like, can you, like, you know, go to Holland and Barrett, get some, like, kale or some shit or silica and take that as a supplement and it just makes your hair grow like a fucking weed. And I'm like, okay, cool, because that sounds cool because I want my hair to grow anyway. I'm going to get that anyway. Not for you, bitch, but I'm going to get it. And he said, come back in three to four months and we'll do your fringe. Bitch, even if you just said no to that, then do my layers. But he didn't. He literally just sent me out. And by the end of about three or four months, my fringe will be like that sweeping across thing anyway because it'll have grown out. I want what is going to happen in three or four months done now, which can be done. And I was just like, what the fuck? So I came back in and I was like kind of reeling. I was like, what that just happened? Like, why could you not at least be somewhat accommodating to what I wanted? Why can't you just least do the layers? I get leaving the fringe. I get that. But... <sighs> So I just walk down the street, I find someone else. I go in there and I was like, I was looking for like alternative places because it's quite an alternative haircut. And, you know, I think as getting the kind of vibe from this place is quite conservative. You know, it was looking for doing people's haircut, you know, the classic Rachel Green style, you know, that kind of crap. And like, I, I walk into this next place and this girl has uh, her hair split bright red and black. And I was like, you're gonna get me. So I'm going in tomorrow to get that done. Rant over. But, like, how am I out here? What the fuck? I have no idea what I'm going to do tonight. I'm hoping maybe me and my husband are going to get drunk. Which would be fun. I'll take you guys with me. But, yeah. Ran over, and I need to go brush my teeth. By fucking God, I've got bold two and one in my mouth. Family guy. Yeah, I'm currently roasting a chicken, which is fun. And I am drinking a lot of whiskey. And I, my favourite drink at the moment is whiskey sours. So I thought I'd show you guys how I make whiskey sours. Do the time lapse if I can figure out how to do a time lapse. 